Welcome to our deep dive into the power of behavior and the significant role our emotions play in it. Today, we're embarking on a transformative journey, a journey that will fundamentally alter the way you perceive and interpret your actions, their impact, and the emotions that drive them. Welcome to the core of self-improvement channel. Before we go further, let's take a moment to discuss the psychology of behavior. Our behavior is a fascinating aspect of our existence influenced by a myriad of factors including our thoughts, emotions, and past experiences. Think about everyday healthy behaviors like regular exercise, maintaining a balanced diet, ensuring adequate sleep, practicing positive thinking, and employing effective stress management strategies. All of these are influenced by our thoughts and emotions and reflect our innermost beliefs and feelings. Understanding these behaviors can be a, these behaviors can be a significant step towards self-reflection and personal growth. By regularly introspecting and examining these behaviors, we can gain valuable insights into our thoughts and emotions and use these insights to bring about positive changes in our lives. Indeed, deliberate and conscious behavior can significantly influence the outcome of a situation. It can guide you to reach your health goals, foster a positive mindset, or even make a dream reality. Now picture this, a world where every action, every decision you make is a deliberate stroke of your life. A world where your behavior isn't just a reflection of who you are, but a powerful tool that shapes your reality and the world around you. A world where your feelings help shape your behavior. Isn't it intriguing to think that your choice to exercise regularly, a balanced diet, or manage stress effectively, could be such powerful tools? This is the fascinating world of behavior we're about to explore. We'll delve into its power, its influence, and how emotions and feelings can steer this power. We will explore how understanding the connection between your emotions and actions, such as choosing to engage in healthy behaviors, can help you manage your behavior better, fostering personal growth, wisdom, and better decision-making. But that's not all. By the end of this journey, You'll understand how to leave a lasting impression, how to make a difference, and how to be better, one emotion-driven behavior at. So, are you ready to unlock the full potential of behavior? Are you prepared to understand how your emotions influence your actions? If you are, then stay with us till the end. Let's embark on this journey together. Ready? Let's dive. Before we delve into the advantages of healthy behavior, let's take a moment to understand what causes unhealthy behavior. You see, behavior isn't formed in a vacuum. It's a product of various factors, our environment, our experiences, our mindset, and our emotional state. One of the primary culprits of unhealthy behavior is stress and pressure. When we're stressed or under pressure, we tend to resort to unhealthy behavior as coping mechanisms. It's like our mind's instinctive response to distress, a way to momentarily escape the discomfort. But these temporary escapes often lead to long-term damage. Another factor that contributes to unhealthy behavior is the lack of self-awareness and understanding. When we're not aware of our actions and their implications, we can easily fall into harmful behavior patterns. It's like walking in the dark, unaware of the pitfalls that lie in our path. Negative influences and environments can also encourage unhealthy behavior. If we're constantly surrounded by negativity, it's easy to adopt similar behavior patterns. It's like a contagious disease, spreading from one person to the next, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. Understanding these causes is the first step towards changing our behavior for the better. It's a step towards self-awareness and introspection, towards understanding ourselves and our actions better. And once we understand the causes of our unhealthy behavior, we can then begin to address them, paving the way for healthier, more positive behavior. So as we continue on our journey, let's keep these causes in mind, for they'll serve as crucial guideposts, helping us navigate our way towards healthier behavior. Stay tuned because up next, we're diving into the world of healthy behavior and exploring its many advantages. Now that we've embarked on this journey, let's take a moment to delve into the benefits of nurturing healthy habits. You see, our behavior doesn't merely reflect our character, it also significantly influences our well-being. A positive, healthy behavior can work miracles for our mental health, cultivating a positive mindset and a tranquil inner world. It's akin to a beautiful sunrise after a storm, shedding light on our path and simplifying our journey. Let's consider your relationships. How often have you observed that your behavior towards others determines how they react towards you? A warm word, a considerate act, a listening ear. These are all embodiments of healthy behavior and they can dramatically upgrade our interactions with others. 
It's similar to planting positivity seeds and in return harvesting a lush garden of love, respect, and understanding. However, the advantages of healthy behavior extend even further. It can serve as a springboard for personal progress and self-betterment. Every positive act, every considerate choice, each instance of kindness or patience, they all contribute to our personal expansion. It's like constructing a building brick by brick, with each healthy behavior contributing a piece to the structure of our personal evolution. So you see, nurturing healthy behavior is not just about being virtuous or doing what's ethically right. It's about sculpting an enhanced version of ourselves which is happier, healthier, and more fulfilled. But the question persists. How can we behave healthily? How can we tap into the potential of our behavior to revolutionize our lives? That's what we'll delve into in scene four. So stick with us as we delve further into the intriguing realm of behavior. Moving on to scene number five, we continue our exploration of the power of healthy behavior. It's time to delve into the ways we can manifest this behavior daily. There are some fundamental principles we can follow to cultivate a wholesome behavioral pattern. Starting with empathy and understanding, it's crucial to put ourselves in someone else's shoes. How would it feel? What would be our expectations from others? Empathy forms the base of healthy behavior as it lets us understand and acknowledge others' feelings. It acts as a bridge, linking our hearts to those of others, creating an atmosphere of mutual respect and understanding. Next up is maintaining a positive attitude. Our life is a cocktail of highs and lows, successes and failures, happiness and sorrow. Amid all this, it's our perspective that shapes our behavior. A positive attitude and a hopeful outlook can navigate our vessel even in the roughest waters. It serves as a guiding light through the darkest times, leading us towards a healthier behavioral pattern. Lastly, respect and consideration should be paramount in your interactions. Be it with your family, co-workers or a stranger on the street, be conscious of your words and actions. Respect their feelings, appreciate their experiences, and consider their viewpoints. It's like a synchronized dance where each step is in harmony with the rhythm of respect and consideration. Remember, dear viewers, our behavior is a reflection of our inner self, an open book to our soul. So let's aim to make it a positive one, a beacon of hope, respect, and understanding. After all, R is more than just about us. It's about the imprint we leave on others, the legacy we leave behind. Consequently, let's make conscious choices, practice healthy behavior, and shape a world that's kinder, brighter, and abounds in love. Have you ever paused to consider how your behavior shapes the quality of your life? A seemingly simple question, but one with profound implications. Scene 6, Behavior, the lead actor in the theater of life, starts here. Behavior, in essence, is the range of actions and mannerisms we exhibit consciously or unconsciously in response to stimuli around us. It's like a mirror reflects our thoughts, beliefs, and values to the world. Imagine for a moment that your life is a grand theater. Your behavior is the lead actor on this stage, commanding attention, influencing perceptions, and ultimately dictating the narrative of your life. Now, this doesn't mean you have to be the epitome of perfection at all times. Perfection, after all, is an elusive goal. Instead, it's about recognizing the power of your behavior and harnessing it to foster growth, wisdom, and better decision-making. Think about it. Every circumstance, every situation presents an opportunity, an opportunity to evolve, to learn, to grow. And how we behave in these moments, the decisions we make, they shape these opportunities, influencing their quality and outcome. It's like being an artist with each stroke of behavior adding depth and dimension the canvas of your life. But here's the real kicker. Our behavior leaves a lasting impression. It's not merely about the words we utter, but the actions we take, the choices we make. It's about the energy we radiate, that we invoke. It's about how we make others feel. As the old adage goes, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made feel. So every day with every interaction, we have the chance to leave a positive impact, to make a difference, to be better. Indeed, the power of behavior is immense. It's a tool, a weapon, a gift. It's a game changer, and it's in our hands. Indeed, people might forget what was said, but they remember how you behaved and most importantly, how you made them feel. Let's delve deeper into the essence of behavior through the rhythm and rhyme of poetry. Seventh Stop brings us to a realm where actions take center stage. The poem is titled, The Dance of Actions. It sings of a world where actions, not words, are the true currency. 
a realm where a promise is but a whisper while an action echoes like a thunderclap. It paints a picture of a world where deeds are the indelible ink that writes our story, and every step we take, every move we make, is a brushstroke in the canvas of life. This poem serves as a reminder that our behavior is the choreographer of our life's dance, leading us in a waltz of triumph or a tango of regret. Next, we journey into a forest of feelings in a poem called The Echo of Emotions. It whispers of a place where behavior is the breeze that stirs the leaves, where a kind gesture can cause a symphony of rustling joy, and a harsh word can bring a storm of sorrow. It reminds us that our behavior carries an emotional echo, rippling through the hearts of those around us. The poem underscores that the quality of our behavior is a seed from which the tree of our relationships grows, bearing fruits of love or thorns of resentment. Lastly, we find ourselves on a mountain peak of potential, gazing at a poem titled The Summit of Self. Here, behavior is the path we tread, leading us either to the heights of our aspirations or the valleys of our fears. It tells us that our behavior is the compass that guides us through the wilderness of life, pointing us towards our goals or leading us astray. This poem is a beacon, illuminating the truth that our behavior shapes our destiny, carving the peaks of our achievements or the crevices of our failures. We've journeyed through the realms of action, the forests of feelings and the peaks of potential, each poem offering a unique perspective on the profound impact of behavior on our lives. They've echoed the same truth in different melodies that behavior in its essence is a powerful force shaping our world, our relationships and ourselves. As we leave these poetic landscapes, we carry with us the echoes of these truths. We acknowledge that our actions are more potent than our words, that our behavior can stir emotions like the wind stirs leaves, and that our conduct is the compass guiding us towards our destiny. From the dance floor of actions, through the echoing forest of emotions, to the summit of self, these poems have woven a tapestry of truths. They've illuminated the profound impact of our behavior, the power it holds over our lives, and the potential it offers for growth and transformation. Poetry indeed paints a vivid picture of the depth and breadth of behavior. Scene 8, behavior like a double-edged sword has both its advantages and disadvantages. It is a potent tool that can either build or destroy, depending on how it's wielded. Let's first delve into the upside of the blade, the benefits of good behavior. Picture this, you're at a social gathering and you're behaving in a kind, considerate, and respectful manner. This doesn't just make you feel good about yourself, it also has a ripple effect on those around. People are naturally drawn to positivity, so the more good energy you radiate, the more you attract. Your behavior can be a powerful catalyst for improved relationships. When you treat people with kindness and respect, they're more likely to reciprocate. You'll find doors opening, opportunities presenting themselves, and a general sense of well-being pervading your life. Good behavior boosts your self-esteem. When you know you're doing right by others, it's hard not to feel good about yourself. Now let's flip the blade over and examine the downside. The drawbacks of poor behavior. Just as good behavior can build bridges, poor behavior can burn them. If dismissive, disrespectful, or unkind, you're likely to push people away. The you've worked hard to cultivate can be damaged, sometimes irreparably. Poor behavior also takes a toll on your self-esteem. When you know you're not treating people as well as you could be, it chips away at your self-worth. You might start to question your worthiness, and this self-doubt can seep into other areas of your life, affecting your overall happiness and satisfaction. The sword behavior, therefore, cuts both ways. It's a tool of immense power, but like any tool, it must be wielded with care. Your behavior can either build you up or tear you down, depending on how you choose to act in any given situation. Clearly, the quality of your life is a mirror reflection of your behavior. So, in this scene, ask yourself, what do you see when you look in that mirror? Welcome to scene nine of our immersive journey into understanding behavior. If you're finding these insights valuable, please like, comment, and for more thought-provoking content. We're unraveling the intricacies of our actions, their impacts on our lives, and their ripple effects on those around us. Our discussion also covers the model behavior and ways to attain it. But remember, this exploration is a collaborative endeavor. We eagerly await your input, so don't hesitate to share your experiences and insights in the comment section below. Have you ever found yourself on the edge of behavioral dilemma? Does your reflection in the mirror echo your actions? How are you working to meet the ideal behavior we're discussing? As you consider these queries and share your perspectives, our journey continues. We're about to probe deeper into the essence of respect, empathy, patience, self-care, and authenticity. 
So stay connected and let's continue this enlightening journey together. So, as we venture into scene 10, you might wonder, what does the best-mannered behavior look like? The answer might seem simple, yet it demands a profound understanding of ourselves and others. It is not just about being polite or following societal norms. It goes much deeper, touching the core of our human interactions. Ideal behavior kicks off with respect, respect for oneself and for others. It's acknowledging that each person has a unique journey, and every outlook holds its value. It's about embracing diversity and celebrating it, not trying to force everyone into the same box. Then comes empathy, an ingredient of ideal behavior. Empathy is the capacity to comprehend and share the feelings of others. It's about stepping into someone else's shoes, experiencing their joy, their sorrow, their challenges. With empathy, we can construct bridges, demolish walls of misunderstanding, and nurture significant relationships. Patience is also a vital aspect of the best-mannered behavior. Patience enables us to slow down, to listen, to bide for the right time. It guides us not to rush to conclusions, to offer others the benefit of the doubt, and to comprehend that things might not always unfold as we wish. But ideal behavior is not solely about how we interact with others. It's equally about how we regard ourselves. It's about self-respect, self-care, and self-improvement. It's about acknowledging our own worth, maintaining our physical and emotional well-being, and tirelessly striving to evolve into the best versions of ourselves. And undoubtedly, ideal behavior revolves around authenticity. It's about staying true to who we are, articulating our thoughts and feelings genuinely, and not acting out a character we're not. When we manifest these qualities, respect, empathy, patience, self-care, and authenticity, we enhance not just our own lives, but the lives of those around us as well. We trigger a positive ripple effect that extends far beyond our immediate sphere. Aiming for the best-mannered behavior is indeed a noteworthy pursuit in Scene 10. Scene 11. As a wise man once said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. This pearl of wisdom came from none other than Aristotle, a philosopher whose thoughts and teachings have withstood the test time. His words hold a profound truth, resonating deeply within us. Our behavior, the actions we undertake, the decisions we make, are not isolated incidents. They are the habits we've cultivated, the routines we've established. They are the threads that weave the fabric of our every action, every decision, every behavior is a reflection of who we are. It's our character on display, a testament to our values, our beliefs, and our attitudes. When we choose to act with kindness, we are not merely performing a single act of kindness. We are reaffirming our commitment to a life of compassion. When we choose patience over impatience, understanding over judgment, we are not merely navigating a singular situation. We are setting a precedent for how we wish to engage with the world around us. Aristotle's wisdom urges us to view behavior not as a series of individual actions, but as the embodiment of our character. He compels us to strive for excellence through the cultivation of positive habits and behaviors. But how do we apply this wisdom? It begins with an awareness of our actions, a mindfulness of our decisions. It involves a commitment to self-improvement, the courage to change, and the resilience to persist. It requires us to take responsibility for our actions, to own our behaviors. And as we strive for excellence, as we work towards creating constructive habits, we will inevitably stumble. There will be moments of failure, moments of doubt. But remember, every setback is an opportunity for a comeback. Every mistake, a lesson to be learned. Indeed, wisdom has a way of shedding light on the most profound aspects of life, including behavior. Now, as we embark on scene 12, armed with all this insight about behavior, what's your next move? Life is a series of moments and each moment is a chance to behave in a way that shapes our reality. The power lies within us, within our behavior. It's time to turn the mirror inwards and reflect. Ask yourself, how does your behavior affect your life? How does it affect others around you? Begin by identifying areas in your life that could use some improvement. Is it your work ethic, your communication skills, or perhaps your patience that needs some work? Once you've identified these areas, it's time to take the next step, making small, deliberate changes. Change doesn't have to be monumental. In fact, the most sustainable changes often come from small, consistent efforts. The key is to be deliberate in your actions. If it's patience you're working on, Take a deep breath and count to 10 before reacting to a situation. If it's better communication, practice active listening. Give others the floor to speak and express your thoughts clearly and respectfully. Every day, 
make an effort to behave in a way that brings you closer to your ideal self. Take note of how these changes affect your life. Do you find yourself feeling more peaceful, more satisfied, or more successful? Do you notice a shift in your relationships, your work, or your overall quality of life? This is the behavior challenge, a journey of self-improvement and growth. It's not about being perfect, but about being better than you were yesterday. It's about recognizing that every moment is a chance to make a wise decision, to behave in a way that uplifts you and those around you. So take this challenge, reflect, identify, change, and observe. Be the master of your own behavior and watch as it transforms your reality. As we conclude scene 12, remember, the power to shape the quality of your life lies in your behavior, make it count. In scene 13, we bring our journey to a close, having traversed the captivating terrain of human behavior. This journey revealed the influence it has on our existence and the poetic understanding it provides, behavior remains an untamed force that molds us and our reality. It acts as our nonverbal communication, conveying our intentions, desires, and values to the world we inhabit. We've delved into the paradoxical nature of behavior. It can be both a tool for growth and wisdom, enabling us to learn and evolve from our experiences. Conversely, it can be a potential hazard, a snare that can mislead us if not handled with caution and awareness. We've considered the concept of ideal behavior, an idea as diverse and unique as those who pursue it. It's not a pursuit of flawlessness, but of genuineness and respect, about treating others as we aspire to be treated, and about lending an ear as much as we voice our thoughts. We've pondered on the wisdom of those who have tread this path before us. They've highlighted that behavior is not just about our actions, but also our reactions, about the decisions we make in challenging times and the dignity we display in times of victory. Lastly, we've laid down the challenge, urging ourselves and one another to gain greater awareness of our behavior, to utilize it for self-enhancement, for growth, for transformation. After all, our behavior is our legacy, the mark we leave on the world, and in the hearts those we impact. As we advance, let's recall this journey. Let's remember that behavior is the mirror that reflects our true selves, an echo of our deepest selves. It's our silent testament, our unwritten belief, our hidden agreement with the cosmos, your behavior is your message to the world. Ensure it's inspiring. Scene 14. As we prepare to part ways, let's pause for a moment of contemplation. What you do is essentially your silent testament, your unspoken pact with the cosmos. It narrates a tale of your identity, your beliefs, and your principles. Therefore, as you tread through your day, engaging with others, encountering triumphs and hurdles, bear in mind, your actions hold significance. They constitute your legacy, the mark you etch on the world and on the souls you touch. It is your communication with the world, so it's inspirational. And remember, transformation stems from realization. Therefore, let's persist in aware of our deeds, our responses, our behavior, because ultimately it's not just about our actions, but about our essence. And our essence is mirrored in our conduct. So here's to nurturing greater self-awareness, consciousness, mindfulness. Here's to evolving into enhanced versions of ourselves. Here's to behavior that inspires. If this video been beneficial to you, kindly like, comment, and subscribe. Your support allows us to produce more of such content. We appreciate your viewership.